and the faithful shall be rewarded. Bosh! Oh, he, he, has, he hasn't gone as God again, has he? Oh, hang on. Bosh! Yes, my friends, Merlot has finally realised that big rectangular white thing with a net in the back's not for fishing. It's a goal. He's boshed in it. No assist. Don't look. Baby steps. But I love you lot because although I've been banging on about Merlo for a few episodes now, like he and I was expecting to go through the comments and have people like, just look, he's clearly rubbish or just he's not, he's too young. Don't worry about it. But it's, you're all so on board with me that it's like the top comment on the last video is, he, we should take him to every club we ever go to. <laughs> and I just love that so much. And as I said, our faith has been rewarded. Also, what I expected to be a quiet transfer window has um, gone a bit crazy for, for reasons. One of them, because somebody pissed me off, but other stuff as well. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to The Journeyman. As you can see, the form has been pretty good. Few too many draws in there. And we <laughs> they're on a different level. We Top of the league, Pharaoh. Apps 3-1, flattering to us. Absolutely flattering to us. Um, despite the fact they scored some late goals, we went 1-0 up. And I was like, this is the biggest FM job in the end. And some of the chances they were having was... Yeah, over 3xG for them, um, and goal disallowed. Yeah, it was ugly, um, and it rep it's represented in the league. They are well, only four points clear, so they have dropped. I think, did they lose their last game? Or? Okay, they've had a couple of draws recently. So it's not terrible, but tra I need to talk to you about transfers before we get into the game today. Because <laughs> we've made some bank. Let me tell you what's happened. Um... Sold a couple of big players. Now, let's talk about this guy first. Musia, loved him. Solid all-rounder. Been solid for us. I was kind of kind of happy his contract runs out at the end of the season. And I was kind of happy just to let it go. Well done. Thank you very much. Enjoy finding a new club. All good. But then, in the, like, three weeks ago, he says that he's outgrown the club and that he wants to leave. And I'm like, well, you, you've already told me that you're going to explore your options, which means leave. We all know that means leave at the end of your contract anyway. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to let you go. And then he really started kicking up a fuss. So I was like, okay, well, fine, fine. But then I thought, actually, I probably should anyway, because if we can get any sort of money, and I didn't think we'd really get much money for him because his contract runs out in six months. But we managed to get 400k. There was actually a bit of a bidding war. So I was very happy about that. And then this guy... Trasante sold him for £1.2 million, which I am delighted with. Had no thoughts to get rid of him. He's been a solid... He's actually... I think he was pretty decent for us. Yeah, pretty decent in the DM role. Um, but he kicked up. I treated him badly. I hold my hands up. What you're about to hear, I do not condone... I feel like this is the Logan Paul apology video. I do not condone. I've made a serious error of judgment. I hope there's no kids watching. Because I actually feel really bad saying this. I played him as a defensive midfielder. Ball winning midfielder. Defend. Okay. But he wanted to be played as a central midfielder. Ball winning midfielder. Defend. Um, so he kicked up a fuss and I'm like, suck it up. And he's like, oh, I'm gonna get angry. So immediately I was like, fuck off then, fuck off then. Um, and I've got 1.2 million for him. Um, I'll let, I, I'll let you into a, I may let you into a little secret. As much as I'm enjoying this job, I'm, I'm, I'm scared by this thing, right? Only one goes up. And then I was looking on the, you know, just looking at the job set. Now I often have a browse just to see what's there. You never know. And then this team comes up, O'Higgins. I'm like, O'Higgins, what a great name. They're a Chilean side. They're pretty decent. They're in the top division. They've got a bigger budget than we have. That would be quite a fun job. And I thought it'd be quite random for YouTube. And I'd be like, welcome back. And by the way, we had to sell the house because we're now living in Chile. Um, 
and I applied for the job. But in the meantime, they then bid £1.2 million pounds for, uh, for um, Trezonte. And I'm like, oh, I don't, that's a, they are overpaying horribly. I don't want to go there and have to deal with that guy that we've just signed for £1.2 million. Pounds. But they turned me down anyway. So, you know, silver lining. So obviously, and thirdly, our really, really good loan signing that barely played any football. Where is he? Um, he's, he played so little football, I've forgotten his name. Where is he? Um, it's not him, is it? Was it him? Is it him? That's the one I've got in. I'm looking it in. I'm looking it in. No, because he was in. What am I talking about? Hang on. What? That's one of the guys I just got to replace him. When was the... <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, did I get him in the end of the last season? I can't remember. The little... The little Chilean fella. Ergie, there he is. Just horrendous injuries. I, I don't think he's particularly injury prone. But whenever he did play... I got him back for a couple more games, then he was injured again. Two goals, two assists. But he only had a six months loan, and I knew that. I rem actually remembered that, which is very rare. Normally, I forget that I've done that, and then someone of my players just disappears, and I spend 10 minutes trying to scan the team to work out which players just disappeared. So I've ha I had to replace him as well. And so we had to do a little bit of work. Now, now, one of the signings is not like the others. <clears throat> I've actually done a surprising amount of work here. So, Ignacio Galvan is our left back, left wing replacement. Very good. Just a loney. Um, I think his contract's running out at the end of the season. So if he really does well and we think he's worth it, we might be able to pick him up. He's only 24. Good age. Solid all round. A decent pace. I think he'll, he'll do fine. We've got our other oldie left mid that's doing bits anyway. So it's not. it doesn't have to be first choice. Then, obviously, um, I needed to sign a replacement for Trosso, uh, for Musia. So I got Julian Domk. Domk. Um, 24 years old. Another little loney. Just to get us through to the end of the season. Because there was nobody really about that I was desperately wanted. So, got him in. Then, the Trasante transfer happened and I had to replace him. Now, this is where I've spent a little bit of money. Because we know how good are my... my Signings have been on that front. <clears throat> His name is George Lopez. And I think he genuinely could be very good. I might, you might have heard me say that before. Not the most physical in the world. He's only 18. I bear that in mind. Um, okay physicals. Good stamina. Okay strength. 18. That should increase a little bit. I really love his aggression and bravery. And he's actually got some really good mentals. And his tackling is exceptional. Not very good in the air. Um, but as a ball winning midfielder, I think he's really good. So I spent a little bit of money treating myself. I just sold a guy for 1.2 million. I can treat myself, right? And then, as a little treat on top, um, my scouts um, found a goalkeeper, just suggested a goalkeeper. His name is Geronimo. <laughs> oh my God, I didn't even notice that. Oh, God, I've got to call him Geronimo. Like, how can you... Okay, Geronimo... Um, from New York for £69,000, which is nice. And he is a very decent goalkeeper. He's on quite high wages. But we financially, we've been doing absolute bits, so I treated myself. And it, he's a little bit better than the one we've got, Soltani. But more importantly, if the form drops off, then we can bring him in, swap him around, all that sort of good stuff. Um, I did sign somebody else. Why isn't that showing... Um, do, 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 do. I did sign some. I'm pretty sure I signed somebody else. Not just a youngster. Oh, we had youth intake. I forgot to say we had youth intake. We got one player. His name is Roberto Paz, and he's a right midfielder. We don't need another right winger, but that's okay. Um, I think we will train him. Keep him training as the. Uh, Right winger. Oh, he's left-footed. Fuck my life. Okay, he's a left, like I said, left winger. And he, and he could be pretty decent. Where was the other guy? 
I did have a power cut earlier in the house. Just in case. I did <laughs> I did have a power cut earlier in the house and I maybe didn't re-sign this guy. It was just a it's just a good youngster. I don't think he was exceptional, but it was a freebie youngster. Um I wonder if it is one of these. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I've been hoovering him up. It might have been this Guillermo. Who knows? Let's pretend he was always here because my brain doesn't work. So overall, we've made 1.6 million, we've spent 300k, and I think we've improved. Which, <laughs> you know, that's just what I do. It's just what I do. Uh, so this is our first game with the new guys. Um, Sultan, look, look, Merlo. Look at, look at Merlo. Look at him. Oh, he did do assist. He did some assists. Look at him. Huh? Is this, is this it? Has he realised that... Getting goals and assists is fun. Some people were saying that I should, because I played him on the left as an inverted winger a little bit the other day, and they were saying, oh, that's where you should play. You got to play. That's where he played at the start, and he was absolute dog shit. It's fine. If they've got a cut inside from the left wing, if you don't play them on the left wing, that's fine. They don't just cut inside from everywhere. They'll just play normally on the right wing. Unless he fans wanders off to the left wing, and which, which they will then cut inside and wander back to the right wing. So it all works out. So... I'm pretty pleased with this. That means we can loan this guy out, who's a very good young goalkeeper. I want you to be. I want you to be an important player. Fun, funny, fun mini game. I want you to be an important player, and I'm going to lock that in. Little padlock there, non-negotiable, non-negotiable. That means the AI cannot negotiate. This is what they must offer me if they make an offer. <laughs> That's not. No, I'll get ten offers for backup. I don't, you don't even have to pay any of his wages. I just want him to be playing first team football. But we'll see how that goes. So, um, strikers are playing well. They're taking turns at being in form. Is Merlo... Oh, you could argue he's our most informed player. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Lopez is kind of going straight in. Because we are missing a few. Um... Oh, you got don't oh, I don't want to play as long one role and you get really upset at me and stuff like that. Dompk is coming in. Um Do I want to bring him straight? Yeah, let's bring him straight in. Let's try him. Let's try him out. Am I playing those on the right side? Yes. Okay. Good. So two debuts. And this guy's also leaving us on the fifth for 200 k because he doesn't really fit any of our positions. Which is a little bit sad because he's one of us. He's one of our own. Um, you can come back in though. I don't care enough to like play him. You know. Do I? Should we see all the debuts? Sultani's been playing well, but I just want to see all the all the new guys. Um, our two strikers uh, have not kicked a ball this season. That's fine. Uh, Pirelles has done well. Had a good start. Okay. So what can go wrong with three debuts? In an entirely new centre midfield. Nothing. Um, youngster Alves is playing really good football. Okay. Where's John and I playing before? Njort. They, oh, they, make, they made a tidy profit. <laughs> he, spent, he spent a year in France. He's like, nah. It's not for me. Not a fan of the old baguette. He likes his rolls round. Okay. Domk is offended. What? Oh my god, it's orange, mate. Why? Oh, jeez, calm yourself. Jesus. I, oh, I'm so offended. Right, let's get a win. We've got to keep the pressure on. I kind of would like another centre-back, potentially. But... I don't know if it would just cut into the game time with that really good youngster and the other one when he comes back from his broken skull. Um, <laughs> I want to give them time. Merlo whips one in. He, he takes corners now. He's, he's, he's like... Oh, he's offside. Um, he's like Jadon Sancho before he got like all Man United all over him. Like when he was good before he got Man United. Um, he's... This, I think this could be the... I think he's going to go... Like, let you in. I think he's going to be 
go shit again. I think there's going to be a little th- game spell, and then it'll go back to 6.4s. Oh, has he not scored that? But it shows the potential that we knew was there. The faithful, the Merlites, the Merlins, we call the Merlins, the fans of, have be rewarded. Right, Lopez. Okay, looking good, boys. Really bright start. Probably should have scored. Oh, that is horrendous. Jimenez, cut it back. Go on. Yes, Renzo. Surprise package of the season has got to be this guy. Like, he looks pretty good. I just wasn't sure if his physicals were good enough to play on that left-hand side. And he's got five goals and now nine assists. Now he's going to break his leg because I pointed him out. How are our two DMs doing? 6.8, 6.8. That's fine. Good tackle. Merlo. Oh, lovely ball. First time. Little reverse pass. No look, probably. Back heel. Bicycle kick. Thing. Oh, he managed to get it. Okay. Looking all right. Lopez. Does well. Recycle. Lopez heavily involved. The youngster. Okay, then who fit after all that? Go on. Cut it back. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's sweaty. And it's lovely. Pereles. Terrible signing last year. Didn't really help us at all in the run-in. But super sub this year and slowly finding his legs. Ferno Miniskip. Look at what a, what a performance. What a performance, boys. Got to keep the pressure on. <clears throat> They're a decent side. Old Shaka Khan. I'm going to praise them. I'm going to risk a praise. It's just before half time, so there's no time for them to fuck it up straight afterwards. Well done, boys. I'm I'm outstretched arms. Right, let's keep everybody fit. How's Merlo doing? Six point nine. Oh, he's having a bad game. <laughs> uh, right. Lopez is a bit tired. Yeah, we don't need to. We don't need to rush him. He's had a good. Good debut, six point nine as a DM is very good. I'm I'm happy without goals and assists. I think if you can get DMs to play and most of the roles, like six point eight, six point nine is fine. I think they're a little bit underrated. They they are no they they get underrated in this game. Merlo, Merlo, oh, <laughs> slip. You see the little bubble. Okay. He's playing a seven. He's playing a 7.1. He's running the show behind the scenes. As somebody said in the comments, we're not seeing his highlights because it's so consistent that they don't show it. Oh, it's a lovely ball in. He should have had an assist at this point so far. Keeper is panicking. What's he, he doesn't have any idea what to do, so he's gone for the long hoof. But we're going to win the second balls, which is the important one. Jimenez... Velasquez, Domk. Fernandez, nice ball out. Merlo. Go on, go on, Merles. Go on, Merles. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, there it is. He's done it again. Just beats him for pace. See? Never give up on a... I'm saying this after... I admit, I'm saying this after, like, four good games. But never give up on a player. Unless they're just shit. Um, which, in which case, do it. But see, he, he was so dreadful. It makes no sense, but maybe he's just got the hang of it. Maybe he's, he's, he's fitted into a, the core social group or something, and we've conceded, because, you know, we do that as well. We do that quite a lot. But I am enjoying this tactic tremendously. You're just back from injury, so we'll, you're learning the DM roles, so we'll bring you back in. Um... Alvarez is playing the centre-back role. He's playing superbly well. All right, can we get another one? Another a Merlot? A live YouTube goal for Merlot, his first one? Reles does well, pressing forward. Nice, Montez. There he is. Merlot. Merlot. Oh, so what a ball. Oh, <laughs> 
I don't, I don't know. I honestly think he got a goal or an assist, whatever, which one, whichever one was first, just kind of by accident or just randomly. He was like, oh, that feels good. That gave me a semi. And he's like, oh, I'm going to do that more often. Because he's, he's a different person. Did they clone him or something? Also, while I was doing transfer hunting, I found the lost McAllister. I found a McAllister and I'm like, oh, well, that's not obviously Liverpool's McAllister because he's way too good. Oh, there's another one though, isn't there? There's another McAllister brother because they played recently in the Europa League. I can't remember who he plays for. I'm like, it's probably, oh, maybe it's him. No, there's a third one. There's another one. He's shit and old though. So, but I'll, just for the lols, I thought about it. Are we going to concede a second? It's a nice passing move. We've got men back. Oh, what defending that is. Oh, oh what's... Th that was tight. Okay, Geronimo. First time we've sort of... Meh. 6.5. Overall, though, I think we can safely say... Here we go. Velasquez. Mr. Reliable. This guy's played every minute of every game, pretty much. Montez, Jimenez, Velasquez, Fernandez, Gonzalez, Fernandez, Merlo. That's lovely. Hit it. Oh, that should have finished with a goal. Right. I don't know. Yeah, you do that sub. Oh, didn't even do it. Okay. Should have got a fourth. Fifth. Probably should have got a fifth. Oh no, Benato's dead. Only a minute left. Merlo, Merlo, Merlo! Oh! Joyous performance from Merlo. What's that? 9.5? <laughs> oh, go on then! <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> Their goalkeepers look dodgy all day long. I think, was the pass back like the. Was it the goalkeeper's fault here? This. What is he? No, this is fine. This is not on the goalkeeper. He's got an acres of space. Oh, and he's panicked. He's gone halfway between the goalkeeper and the centre back. And Barreto, despite being injured, gets his goal. His second goal of the game. It's a 5 2 thriller. And Merlo is a god. Right. There we go. That was fun, that episode, wasn't it? Transfers, shenanigans. If you think I'm like a bit over the top at the moment, because I'm excited because we're about to have dinner and I'm fat and hungry. So that's why the, you know, the excitement. But actually, it's just because I'm really, really enjoying this save. Okay, pulled thigh. Classy Merlot. Classy Merlot. He's made this... In, in just in just four games, he's made this like a season look pretty good stats wise, isn't he? Well, banging in a seven, two goals, six assists, not bad for a youngster. When's the under twenty one call up? Right there we go, my friends. Maybe a bit optimistic. Thank you very much for watching. Always, thank you to the faithful, the Merlins, if you will. All hail the Merlins. Um, I'm not sure if we can take him everywhere. He might get a little bit expensive, I think, at some point. Got two years left. I probably need to give him a new contract just to make sure. Right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.